Hello, I'm going to show you how I connect up the circuit tracks and the Euclidean Circles V2 using a single patch cable. And this is a really standard 3.5mm patch cable. It's plugged in via the sink output of the circuit tracks. No MIDI's connected at the moment. Um, I've only got the audio returning back into the circuit tracks and then sound going out of the tracks onto my audio interface. The circuit tracks and the Euclidean circles, let's turn these on. By default, circuit tracks, as per the manual, state that the PQQN, which is the rate in which the signal is being sent from the default clock sync rate is at two. Now unfortunately if you use the default and I will set this to two by going into shift and setup and shifting it to two so as per the default and then leaving that what we find is that the let's create a drum track 4-4 four, four drum track what we find is that the circuit tracks and Euclidean circles, um, whilst they are moving around at the same um, the same divisions, actually this is this is half the speed of the tracks. And you can if I make that a little bit clearer. The Bissimulus Etiritas Alter is only common in every other um, drum kick. So, what we do is we go into Shift and Setup, and we change that from 2 to 4. And then, what that should do is that should enable the twice, twice the speed of the, 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 the sync rate is at twice the speed, so the Euclidean circles operate at the right pace. Now, as you can hear, that's um, offset now, and that's because the, the circuit tracks doesn't have a reset function, so the Euclidean circles doesn't know to reset the clock. So there we go, that's perfectly in time. So what I've also done then is I've configured the F button, so this fella here, to do rather than to flick between the default setting of um, the patterns for one three and through to four to four to six i've actually just changed this button this function button so that it does a manual reset when you press that button so you do that through doing a long press as this is as per the manual a long press on the bottom encoder to enter the regular settings then press the f button and that then highlights this it's flashing that light there you probably would just see is flashing and so the options are to have number two for the f to be a manual reset so we've moved from one which is the default which is a switch mode to two selected that and to save, I believe you just press the bottom encoder again. Um, and so like I say, that now has give me a manual reset to give me a much better chance of synchronizing these two together. It's so you can hear that both hitting on the same pattern. Boom. 